depression and anxiety, does that mean I'm not spiritual anymore? Peace, 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 peace. All right, so I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, do understand and get that your day is going to get better once your perception gets better. Perception is what creates our reality. So today, I wanted to do a video um, pretty much about um, feeling or experiencing depression um, or anxiety or anything like that and you may feel like that you're no longer spiritual right or people may even feel like well I thought you do all this stuff okay you be buying the crystals and you know doing the meditations and all this other stuff so you know could you be facing something like this I once too used to feel that way, right? Like I used to ask that question, how could I deal or experience something um, like that if I am spiritual, right? Um, understand this, okay? Spirituality, okay, is you being authentic with yourself, okay? It is not you suppressing your emotions or feelings or anything like that, right? And I like to say at the beginning or middle end of the day, we are all spirits, okay? We are all spirits. So if you feel in any type of um, low vibrations or anything like that, it is so important to express how you feel and not to suppress it. Okay, another example or another thing that I highly um, recommend is do not, do not say you have any of these things, okay? You have to remember that words are power, okay? They are powerful. And in the Bible, honey, I don't know the Bible too well, but I know somewhere in the it says in the beginning, then um, it was the word, right? And the word is what you are speaking, okay? What you tell yourself. Um, and if you keep on telling yourself, oh, you have this, you have that, the longer you are going to have those things. And so I like to say I'm experiencing it, right? Um, because the moment you say you have it, it's like, is is a part of who you are right and and that that's to me that's not true okay it just means that you may be experiencing something and it is normal okay i you know i think a lot of times we have this thing um where is though and i i guess you know society because things are always um covered up and not really um talked about right and so, you know, at times if we express ourselves or when we express ourselves, we are often told sometimes, depending on, you know, who you have around you, some people may call you crazy, you know, you may be a little deranged or whatever it is like that. But understand this, okay, living in this here society, okay, it is normal for you to be experiencing some something, okay, um, but don't, don't feel like, well, you may be crazy. And, you know, I used to once upon a time think that, oh, well, you know, if I, if I told people I was experiencing, you know, low vibrations or whatever it was, um, they would, and when I say low vibrations, that means, you know, me being, um, not being happy, me being sad or, um, and some may say, oh, well, that was depressed, you know, and what is so crazy is because the names that we tend to put on things, right? And that's why I say I'm no title, I'm no label, um, because the moment it seems like you put a title or a label on, you know, on yourself is like you could be brought, okay? Um, and so, 
is you know all these different names and stuff that people will say well you have this you have that or or whatever it is um you, you could be sad you know you could you could be sad you could be going through stuff right and i remember one time once upon a time i'm gonna share this guys share this with you guys i remember once upon a time um i do it like something was wrong with me right because one moment I would be, you know, happy. The next moment I would be sad. Um, one moment, and and this was even after my spiritual awakening, right? Like it was moments where as though, and and this all came from me being aware. See, this is what you have to understand, okay? Spirituality it means you being authentic, okay? But when I say I had my spiritual awakening, okay, that means I became aware, okay? I became aware. You know, I'm tapping and tuning into how I'm feeling, right? Um, I'm paying attention, almost, so to speak, as observing who I am, right? Uh, you know, what I'm doing, right? Um, but I, I, I think... That, you know, the moment people say, you know, they had their spiritual awakening or whatever it is, I think sometimes people feel like, well, you should know everything or you should be able to, you know, pull yourself out or whatever it is that you're going through or you shouldn't feel no low vibrations any longer. Almost as if that you, you, you are exempt from... Um, the things that we tend to go through and experience as human beings, right? Almost as if you are exempt. Let me tell you guys something, okay? Being spiritual does not exempt you from trials and tribulations. Challenges, it does not, okay? And honey, that's how I felt when I first had my spiritual um, awakening. I thought I was you know, exempt from things and, and, until I started seeing that's when the things really were showing up. And the reason being is because it's like now you are on a higher frequency, right? You know, now you're able to see things for what they are. Um, and oftentimes, because you are able to see things for what they are and you are, you know, probably you you're so happy and, and and stuff like that because it's almost as if you found out this secret right um or or you are able to unlock this door whereas though you no longer had to um suffer or play by society's rules any longer right and you will start seeing that you may be attacked from different types of ways. And sometimes it may even be your family because, like I said before, your belief system's done changed, right? Not saying that, you know, some of the things that you grew up believing, that you still don't have those belief systems lingering in your subconscious mind, right? That's not what I'm saying because... You know, a lot of things we still that, you know, on my journey, what I see is things that um, I'm working through, okay, and healing through, right, is still other things that, um, that I may be so unaware of, right, um, that may have happened to me when I was a child. And so... And out, I, I think that is like a um, a misconception, right? Like when you spiritual, it's just you may know how to handle things a little better, but you still go through, you still go through, you know, the things or, you know, low vibrations, experiencing those things. And this is key, honey. I mean, if, if you don't take nothing from my videos, never. Okay, please take this. Okay, let me tell you something. When I say it's about truly being authentic to you, I mean, it is truly about being authentic to who you are, okay? Spirituality is about you being authentic to who you are, okay? Not 
being what other people expect of you. Okay? Because, honey, you, you was living in hell when you was doing what other people or what society or what your culture have expected of you. And how did that turn out? That ain't turned out too well, right? And so you have to stay authentic to yourself. You have to be authentic to yourself. I know um, sometimes, right, like when you, you would say you feel a certain type of way, people would just look like, what, you, right? And it's like, yeah, you know, you express. One of the things, and I'm so grateful that this is my passion, right? Me making videos because, you know, I'm very transparent when it comes to how I'm feeling, okay? Um, and maybe this was one of the reasons the universe had chosen me or chose me to do videos because this is like my outlet. I tell you guys, like, I don't have a circle, right? I barely, um, have friends, okay? And so when I'm making content, when I'm making videos, I am pouring, you know, out to you guys about how I'm feeling, um, and being transparent because my whole objective is I want other people to know that it is okay to not be okay. Okay. You do not have to have it all figured out, honey. Okay. It's going to be some days. Okay. And that's the law of rhythm. Okay. In the universe it's going to be some days you may feel, you know, more jollier than others. And that is okay. That, that is simply Okay. But I wanted to read this passage real quick. Okay, so I've been talking to, talking to you guys about this book, um, The Mystic Path to Cosmic Power. It's so funny because I, I completed this book and um, last night I found myself going back to this book. Okay, and so it says, no one should ever feel bad if self-observation reveals that he or she is presently on a lower level. Okay, lower vibrations. On the contrary, we should be glad for only this discovery makes upliftment possible. It is the foolish person who imagines he has nothing to learn. Also remember the mystic path has no moral judgments. There are no such things as good and bad, superior or inferior. We don't consider a five-year-old child inferior to a child of ten. We simply realize that everyone is on a different level of insight and awareness. As you cover all these ideas, let your previous studies in religion be enter. You will see how everything agrees. My own early search and study covered enough books to fill a small library. I investigated every teacher and system from Aristotle and Zen. The teachings varied in outer forms, but all agreed on the essentials. Man's task is to awaken to his true identity. The kingdom of heaven is within. Spiritual truths are discovered with an entirely new kind of thinking, quite distant and vastly superior to the mind that builds bridges and sells merchandise. Okay, so when I, I read this yesterday, um, you know, and, and that's another important reason why um, it's so important to read. Like, I tell you guys, you know, I'd be the first to tell you guys before, you know, I went and pick up a book, right? I was too busy into other things, looking for things to fill, you know, these illusionary voids, right? These things that I didn't want to deal with. I didn't want to face. And so nowadays, um, is really about me looking within and, um, getting knowledge. Right. And I won't say information because, you know, I used to say information could change your situation, but information could be wrong. Right. Um, knowledge is key. And so I hope this helps somebody out there, honey, whatever it is that you're going through, you are not alone, okay? And just because you had your spiritual awakening, that does not exempt you from 
feeling at times at a lower vibration, okay? Um, and it's really about you acknowledging it, right? And not staying there. See, that that's the important part, right? And when I always talk about happiness, because once upon a time I said happiness is the choice, and it is. You have the choice whether you want to complain or if you want to show gratitude, right? Like you have the choice whether you want to be happy or you want to keep on focusing on things that appear to not be working in your favor, okay? And some of the things I always say is the universe working in my favor. Hey, the universe working in my favor. Hey, the universe working in my favor, right? And what you constantly tell yourself, honey, that's what it is. Okay. And so with that being said, I catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys check this book out. Okay. The Mystic Path to Cosmic Power. I don't remember exactly how much this book was, but this is a great read. Honey, it talks about, um, you know, money, the true path to money, love, new friends and energy. Okay. So I don't, I don't know if you are interested in that. But I know I certainly would. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. It's all working out in your favor. Sometimes you got to go through some things in order to see the way you showing up, right? The force you, not the real you, the the fake you, okay? Um, the way that person is showing up, which is the ego, okay? And the belief systems. The way that person is showing up is not serving, right? And your spirit is like... Come on, come on. Anything but this. And once you start being aware of it, honey, your life is going to change drastically. Okay, for the better. And so if you want better, honey, we have to do better. And with that being said, do not, you, do not, do not ever suppress your emotions.